What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of the game! What's going on guys? It is JJ here back with a slight, slight variation uh, to the footballing reaction. I just wanted to talk about the Kepa Aretha Balaga refusal to come off the field at the end of the EFL Cup title game. Now, I will have a Chelsea Man City full game reaction coming out either later today or early tomorrow, so be sure to check out the channel for that. But I just wanted to talk about what was arguably the most infuriating and unique moment I've ever seen in a football game. I have never seen this actually happen in a football game where a player refuses to come out. Mauricio Sarri was literally going to walk away because he wouldn't listen to... Oh. We're a club in turmoil. We are literally the banter club of England. Like, we are worse than Arsenal. We are worse than Arsenal in terms of our, our crap banter. Like, why would you not come? I understand that you're hurt. You are very hurt. And apparently there's a big miscommunication between the medical team and our manager because the medical team says, hey, he should come off. So the substitution is made. And a viable keeper, Willie Caballero, who used to be on the Manchester City team, most of these guys used to play with him. You you keep him out. You keep him out. And it's not it's not Sarri's fault. Sarri wanted the substitution. Gianfranco wanted the substitution. And and it was all up to Keppa. Keppa decided, hey, I want to be the hero. And then what does he do? He he doesn't save the Aguero penalty. We we lose in penalties anyway. It's just unbelievable. And then he over celebrates. He over that the Luis has to tell him to calm down. It's just wow. Um, but we are gonna take a look. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm still ranting about, we're going to take a look at Kepa's refusal to come off the field. So, yeah, let's let's get into this quick because this is just unbelievable. I have never seen this happen in a game in my life. <sighs> Willie Caballero, ready to go. Kepa continuing to argue. Wasted a good three minutes of time. Wasted. Look at that. It's just like, what do you do as a manager if your own player won't come off the field when you tell them to? How do you respond? How 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 do you how do you respond to this? How, what do you do to this? Uh, it's just unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. It, it's classless. It's disgraceful, and it just continues to make us look tumultuous. And I just I I yeah. I, I apologize if I'm continuing to rant for so long. But it's just, I can't... It's not even the fact that even if he would have saved it, he would be a hero. It's the fact that you're making your manager, who's already in so much turmoil. It, it's, it's making everything about you, Keppa. Like, he made everything about him. Everything. We had a fantastic team performance. We showed exactly why the system works. We played City to the brink. And you made everything about yourself. Everything. N not for the team. Not, not for the pride. Not for the performance. Everything was about you. Because you want, you wanted to be the keeper for the penalty shootout. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, I, I, can, I can see from his side where he's played a great 120 minutes. He's done everything that he has to do. But just step aside. Step aside. This didn't have to be a debacle. This didn't have to be the talking point of the game. It's just unbelievable. Um, but let me know you guys' thoughts on the game as well. Once again, guys, there will be a Chelsea Man City uh, reaction video coming out very, very soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to look out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh... And rest in peace, Chelsea. Rest in peace in the chat. We lose the only cup final that we're in. So, fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.